Hello and welcome to this new installment of Mantis Hacks. I'm Matt Denton and this is Ruben, my nephew, my trusty sidekick. <laughs> We're doing giant Lego! You would not want to do it. This is perfect. Yeah, all of that in the shop. So let's take a look at what we're going to be building today. Lego kit 856 from about 1979, I think, something like that. This was the second kit that I ever got and possibly my most favorite. So this taught me about parallel linkages um, with all this up going on up here. I thought it was a really exciting kit and of course the gearboxes inside. And this kit is about 390 something pieces. So it's a lot of parts. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to build the big one together mm. rather than try and race because uh, it's a lot of stuff to get through. All right, let's have a look at the parts. So as you can see, it's quite a lot of stuff. I'm going to put these back on the floor. It's too much stuff to put on the table. I'm going to get Ruben starting to build the tracks. He's already dug them out, look. And uh, I'll start on the kit. These are uh, 3D printed, but they do have a metal pin that goes down through the middle here, just to, uh, to add strength. Well, you're off, I need to start. Here I'm using a 24mm drill bit just to clear out the holes so that the axles run smoother through them. Gearboxes did require some additional tinkering just to get them to run smoothly. I just want to explain about the wheels. So they're usually uh, on this kit. They were put through the old uh, Lego style axle pin um, and I did try them out but they're a little bit you know well, they bend quite a lot on these axle pins and also these axle pins you can never get them out once they're in and this is exactly the same on real Lego they've got always the hardest things to get out of these cogs I've made a modification to the chassis there's a bearing and hopefully they will push in here and there's a there's a, another slot on the other side and then we'll pass an axle through so then there'll be an axle with the bearings on both sides, and then we'll put the cogs onto there. Yeah? yeah? How are we going to take this out? Well, that's what we're going to figure out next. Oh, How are we oh get I out? know. You can push that. Yeah, but then that one will be stuck in. I think it was a success. I really love the tracks. They work beautifully well. The mechanism is just so heavy. I think it's going to struggle uh, to be able to lift this up and down. Uh, maybe I'll have a take, go back and take another look at that and see if I can uh, improve that somehow. Uh, you've probably seen my radio-controlled go-kart, which I used. Like, what? You've seen the radio-controlled go-kart? Mm -hmm. Haven't you? No. I made the go-kart radio-controlled. I haven't seen that. Oh, well, I'll show you in a minute. So I used, I yes. basically made... <laughs> giant Lego motors um, and motorise the go-kart, which of course I could use on this, but they're so big to try and motorise this, I think it would be uh, really hard work using these. So I've got these, these motors here and they're basically, I've built these special Lego blocks that they push into and screw in place. 
where we can just fit them temporarily and uh, put some cogs on. One motor at the back there. I've fitted another one at the front here. Lift a shovel up out of the way and uh, attach a battery, see what happens. Well, I don't know which way it's gonna go. Oh God. <laughs> it could run over you. Ready? Ah! Ah! Yeah. Okay, shall we do it out in, in the hallway? <laughs> no, I think that's <laughs> probably enough. <laughs> All right, I think that's it for now. I think that's a pretty successful build and definitely the most difficult so far. We need to sort of look into getting this working a bit better. I'm not controlling it. And making it remote control because the motors worked really well and I think it'll be really good fun to make it a ready controlled version. Uh, so that'll be the next video. Off road. Yeah, but, like if we just took that bit off, like, cause it might fall off. Yeah. Like we could do it off road. Okay, one step at a time. Don't forget to check out my other projects on the YouTube channel and facebook.com forward slash Mantis Robot. You can also follow me on Twitter at Mantis Robot or Instagram. And don't forget to check the description section for further information on materials and printers that I use and also links to other videos.